By now you should know that we can increase the energy of an electron wave by adding loops. As we add more loops to our electron wave, the size and energy of the electron wave increases. This is described by the Bohr model equations. The energy of an electron wave is given by this equation, and the radius of the wave is given by this equation, where n is the number of loops in the electron wave and z is the charge of the nucleus, the number of protons in the nucleus. Recall that in a previous video we learned how to apply this equation to the hydrogen atom, so in that video z was always 1 because hydrogen's nucleus only has one proton, but this equation works equally well for any one electron species, including atomic ions. Let's investigate how the energy and size of electron waves are affected by the nuclear charge. Consider the helium plus ion. How many protons does the helium plus ion have? The helium atom has two protons in its nucleus. It's the same value as the atomic number, which as we know can be found on the periodic table. It cannot lose or gain protons, because then it wouldn't be helium anymore. Also, nuclear reactions like that are not for the faint of heart. How many electrons does the helium plus ion have? That's right, despite the neutral helium atom having two protons and two electrons, the helium plus atomic ion has lost one of its electrons, and so it's a one electron species. So we can use our Bohr model equations to study this species. Let's compare the helium plus ion to the hydrogen atom. Which 1s electron will be larger, the helium plus 1s electron or the hydrogen 1s electron? Let's recall the Bohr model equation that deals with the radius of a given electron wave. We know that both electrons are 1s, so n is equal to 1 in both cases. Z, on the other hand, differs because helium and hydrogen have different atomic numbers. So the helium ion's electron wave will be smaller since it has a nuclear charge of 2 and radius and nuclear charge are inversely proportional. Hydrogen, then, will have the larger electron wave because its nuclear charge is smaller. Which 1s electron wave will be higher in energy, the helium plus 1s electron or the hydrogen 1s electron? Now let's look at the other Bohr model equation. Again, these two electron waves are n equals 1 since both of them are 1s, so the n variable is the same. The helium ion's nuclear charge is 2 and hydrogen's nuclear charge is 1. This means that, since z is in the numerator in this equation, the energy of the helium ion's electron wave will be more negative than the energy of hydrogen's electron wave. So the greater the nuclear charge of a single electron atom, the lower in energy its electron wave will be. Now let's look at the one electron lithium atomic ion. Which of the following is the correct lithium species that has only a single electron? That's right, lithium has three electrons and so it must lose two electrons to become a single electron species, lithium 2 plus. What is the nuclear charge, Z, of lithium 2 plus? The lithium atom has three protons and therefore the lithium ion, lithium 2 plus, has a nuclear charge of three. Use the Bohr model to compute the energy change associated with the absorption of light by the lithium ion that causes the 1s electron to be transformed into a 3p electron. Recall that all energy changes are delta E equals E final minus E initial, and we know that the energy of a 1 electron wave is given by this formula. We start off with our electron as an n equals 1 wave. This is our initial state. When our electron undergoes its transformation over the course of about 100,000 oscillations of the electric field, it absorbs a photon of light energy and the wave is transformed to 3p. That means that the electron's change in energy for the process of n equals 1 to n equals 3 is this. Notice that the nuclear charge is 3. This is the only difference between this problem with lithium 2 plus and the hydrogen atom. Solving, we compute an energy change of 17.44 attajoules, so the photon energy of the light must be 17.44 attajoules. The wavelength of this light is 11.4 nanometers. This same transformation for a hydrogen atom 1s electron would require light with photon energy 1.94 attajoules. The wavelength of this light would be 102 nanometers.